find power is not about positive thinking. Like a lot of people say, oh, you're the positive thinking guy. No, I'm not the positive thinking guy. Yeah. Positive thinking is ineffective. It doesn't last. Mind power is a practice. It is a discipline. Action. It's, it's something you take action every day. I mean, when I was standing up there and I saw all the chairs and the room was filling up, I walked into the room and when I saw, well, because we did 6,800 people, there were six different workshops. And when I, when I first stood up in front of 1,200 people, I was like, this is speaker's heaven. I absolutely love it. The bigger the audience, the better the presentation, because my talk is really about energy and vibe and vibration and getting people to create energy together. You have to do something different. So let me make this very clear. You need to do something. If you keep doing what you did, you keep getting what you got. You heard that. It's called the definition of insanity. Because I mean, in the seminars that we had, there were hundreds of people. And he related to me, he related to my cleaners, he related to my cashiers. He could relate on a personal level to every single person in, in that seminar. And I think the energy that came from that just rubbed off. Uh, I found him a very interesting man myself. Just to listen to him was, was, was actually delightful because he is so inspiring really. With the sheer energy of the man, he's, he's dynamic and he's so energetic. I think within the first five or ten minutes he already had everybody sitting up, listening to him and, and interested. As soon as that first seminar was done and the guy started bringing back that energy and bringing back that feedback, it was difficult to make sure I had people in the shop because everybody wanted to come to the Robin Bank seminar. Basically what I do is I teach people a system, a way of being, a way of thinking, a way of taking control of your mind mm. because it's your mind that controls your reality, yep. that controls your life. It's easier to be a victim because all you do is blame someone else and you sit there and you go, well, what can we do? That's life. We are suffering. Ish, it's terrible. <laughs> it's bad. Those of you who've done the Mind Power course with me know that your true manifester, the great one, is not the conscious mind. The conscious mind is beautiful. The conscious mind is powerful, but your true master, the grand master, is the subconscious. You know what, I am extremely confident that the future is very bright. In fact, the future is so bright it's blinding. That honestly is my belief system. However, we need to make sure that we are in place to make a very powerful impression when we need to make a powerful impression. But for me, I want the individuals to get that. It's not just about for the country or it's not just about for the company's success. The greater, the more everybody succeeds, everybody will benefit. Everybody's gonna benefit. In fact, one of my favorite sayings is that it is, it is your duty to succeed because the greater my success, the greater your ability to help others. Your success helps lots of people your failure helps no one, so make sure that you're succeeding.